Welcome back to another Canva tutorial and this time let's see just how easy it is to edit your design. We will modify text, search fonts, and change colors so you can make designs on your own. We can start by clicking on the templates tab here and say for example we'd like to create a presentation out of templates. Say uh, we'll have this one. Now to begin editing, we can select any of the object. First, let's use this template. And then select an object. Say, for example, this one. Upon clicking on any of the object, a toolbar above will appear. And from here, you can modify styles. Add effects, position objects, this one here, and even more. Okay, There's a, there are other options to choose from. Let's start by choosing a text. Let's have this one. We can double click on it and then we can edit. How is happiness achieved? From here, we can edit it using the toolbar to change the size, say make it smaller. We can choose the alignment and spacing, spacing, okay. So from among letters, line height, so it is really very easy to modify and edit the settings. Aside from that, there are so many different fonts to choose from. You can click on the fonts here and then you can browse through the fonts that is given by Canva. You can, if you're using the free account, you can use the ones without the crown because the, the ones with the crowns are available only for Canva Pro accounts. Anyway, even if it's a free account, there's really a lot of choices to choose from. Say, for example, this one. There. Now to change color, you can select any of the elements or the object that you'd like to change. Say, for example, this. And you'd like to change the color of this. Automatically, Canva will set for you some color presets to choose from or you can use or customize it by using the spectrum tool or if you already have taken note of a color in mind or you have used a color before and taken note of it you can just type it here so say mine is for 7 6 CDC and that is my favorite color. The position button also allows you to align layer objects on your page. You can select one object and center it perfectly. Say this object or this text, this group of text and probably you could have had uh, typed it and you don't you're not really sure on how to put it exactly in the center or in the middle. You can just click it or select it. And then what you can do is click on these three buttons and click on position. From here, you can choose middle and center. And there you go. It is now centered perfectly. To replace an image, Say, for example, this one here, because you have one on the uploads part, and you'd like to replace this, you can just click it and put it on top of that picture. And if you'd like to move it, you can double click because it's group pictures. Okay, so you can double click it to move it individually. There you have it. If you need to undo the action, 
you can just click on the back arrow there and then another arrow appears for a redo if you would like to redo the action okay so to animate your design you can select the page the whole page say this page okay and then click on animate from here you'll be given options of block fade pan rise and tumble for free account if you've got a pro account you can also take advantage of the additional styles for canva animation and there you have it designing and editing made easy with canva thanks for watching